Next, we move on to the city of Teotihuacan. Uh, here, this is a, in, located in the Valley of Mexico, uh, a great city there, uh, dominated the whole valley in terms of trade. Uh, we, we started off talking about uh, another rival city called Cuicuilco uh, that existed uh, but was destroyed. Uh, there in the Valley of Mexico by a volcanic eruption, which allowed for the growth of Teotihuacan. Uh, and then the rest of these slides just talk about some of the structures located in the city of Teotihuacan, uh, the Avenue of the Dead, the Pyramid of the Sun. Here's a, here's a view of the city. Another view. All right, Pyramid of the Moon, the Ciudadela, which is a large plaza where ceremonies took place, the Temple of Quetzalcoatl. And then uh, we get to uh, the trade network of Teotihuacan, which was pretty vast, uh, uh, kind of taking the place of the Olmecs in a sense, uh, dominating not just the Valley of Mexico, but other regions uh, that were neighboring it. Uh, you have foreign art artisans uh, who would create uh, their exotic crafts there in Teotihuacan. They actually moved there. So you have Mayans, people from uh, the Monte Alban civilization, uh, living there in Teotihuacan, creating their crafts. Uh, then you have the decline of the city uh, when it was burned, possibly by the people that live there. Uh, for some reason, we're not 100% sure, or it could have been from external enemies. Another view of Teotihuacan. Here's the Temple of Quetzalcoatl. Next, we have the civilization of Monte Alban, uh, which was located uh, on a mountain uh, about 1,300 feet high. Uh, everything had to be shipped in there uh, or carried in and imported into the city uh, up this mountain. Uh, so water, food, goods, etc. Tribute. Okay, this was the city uh, that was controlled by the Zapotec people. Uh, the lead, a little bit about the leadership of Monte Alban. They had a king. They had a high priest who was said to have uh, just as just as much uh, influence and control uh, as the king. Uh, then noble administrators who were chiefs who didn't live there in Monte Alban, but uh, ruled separate villages and city states that were dominated by Monte Alban. Uh, those noble administrators would be responsible for collecting tribute, which would probably come in the form of goods uh, or agricultural produce and sent back to Monte Alban. Uh, Monte Alban existed around the same time as Teotihuacan, but it wasn't dominated by it because they were able to have diplomatic relations with Teotihuacan so that they could remain independent. And uh, between the years 400 and 800 CE, Monte Alban began to go into decline uh, as the cities and villages uh, that were uh, under the control of Monte Alban began to become more independent and pull away and you know not send as much tribute. Uh, and this would help, especially if they were located in, in defensive positions where they could fight back against uh, Monte Alban if they tried to uh, enforce their rule. Here's a ball court located in uh, Monte Alban. Here's some of the structures there.